Good morning all of you. I hope so that you all are happy over there and fit and fine. So if you remember that we discussed about sentences, we discussed about the kinds of sentences and the various two parts of the sentence subject and predicate. So today we will be dealing with adjectives. Now before coming to the concept of adjectives, let's first understand that what actually we mean by the noun or pronoun. We all know that the noun is the name of a person, place, animal, thing, idea or emotion. Okay, so this is a noun. You people are starting from the very basic classes. Now, after noun, we uh, should also know about the pronoun. We know that just to avoid the repetition of a noun, the noun should not be repeated every time. Okay, so just to avoid the repetition of a noun, we use we make use of some words which are given the name pronouns. So the pronouns are the words which are used in place of a noun just to avoid the repetition of a noun. Like he, she, it, they, all, these are the pronouns. Now, come to the next concept that is adjective. Now, what basically an adjective is? See, an adjective is a describing word. It describes a noun or a pronoun or adds something to the meaning of a noun or pronoun. Like for example, if I say tall lady. So tall word is basically describing the noun lady. Okay, so the word tall will be the adjective over here. Similarly, if I say yellow color. So yellow word is basically describing the noun color. So yellow is the adjective over here. So please remember adjectives are also given the name describing words. They describe the noun or a pronoun. They tell us something more about the noun or a pronoun. Okay. So these describing words are given the name adjectives. Now let's discuss about the kinds of adjectives. There are so many kinds of adjectives. Let's deal with the various kinds one by one. Let's deal with the first kind that is adjective of quality. Now, what is an adjective of quality? Those adjectives which tell us basically about the quality of a noun or pronoun. Yes, those adjectives are given the name adjectives of quality. So, for finding out that which is the adjective of quality, we need to question with what kind of. Just see this example, tall lady. Now, you can just question in your mind what kind of lady. So, the answer which you people will be getting will be tall. Okay, so tall will be the adjective of quality. Why it will be adjective of quality? Because it is describing the quality of lady. Okay, so those adjectives which tell us about the quality of a noun or pronoun, they are called adjectives of quality and we need to question with what kind of. Come to the next one, adjective of quantity. Now those adjectives which will be telling us about the quantity of a noun or pronoun, they are given the name adjective of quantity. This time we need to question with how much. Okay, like if I say give me some sugar. So how much sugar? Some. Some will be adjective of quantity over there. Okay, and please remember that adjective of quantity, they are always used with the uncountable nouns. Give me a little rice. Okay, give me a little juice. So rice, juice, sugar, all are the uncountable nouns. Okay, come to the next one, adjectives of number. Those adjectives that tell us about the number of the noun or pronoun. Okay, so this time in place of asking the question with how much, we will be asking the question with how many. Like if I say 20 students attended the party, so how many students? 20. So 20 will be adjective of number. Okay, so this time we will be dealing with, we will be asking the question with how many and as I said that adjective of quantity, they are used with the uncountable nouns but adjective of number, they are used with the countable nouns. Okay, come to the fourth category that is demonstrative adjectives. Now those adjectives which basically point out a person or thing. If I say this marker looks, uh, this marker works smoothly. Now I am talking about this particular marker. So this marker, this will be the demonstrative adjective. Why? Because I am pointing out to this marker. Okay. So demonstrative adjectives, please remember this time we have to question with which one. 
Yes, which one? So, four demonstrative adjectives are there. This, that, these and those. This and that are used with the singular nouns and pronouns and these and those are used with the plural noun and pronouns and they basically point out a person or a thing and we need to question with which one. Come to the next one, interrogative adjectives. Interrogative adjectives are those which are basically used for asking the questions. They can be what, which, whose, whom and so on. Fine. If I say that whose, uh, whose painting is the best. Now whose painting and at the last time asking the question. Okay, there's a question mark. So whose painting is the best? So whose will be an interrogative adjective. Why? Because with the help of whose I'm asking a question. So those adjectives which help in asking the questions, they are given the name interrogative adjectives and you will always be finding a question mark in these sentences. Next one, possessive. Possessive means showing belonging or the ownership. Okay, like if I say this is my marker, so my word is showing the belonging. It is showing the ownership that whose marker? My marker. My, his, her, are, their, all these are the possessive adjectives. Okay, because they tell us about the possession, they tell us about the ownership, they tell us about the belonging. They are given the name possessive adjectives. Next, proper adjectives, very simple. Those adjectives which are basically formed from the proper nouns. Like, I have ordered Italian food. So, Italian word you can see properly that it is basically derived from the proper noun Italy. Okay, so Italian will be a proper adjective. Italian, Indian, American. Okay, all these are the proper adjectives because they are obtained from the proper nouns. Then the last emphasizing adjectives. The adjectives which basically emphasize. Like if I say, I have completed my work by my own hands. Now own word is giving the emphasis. It is giving the pressure that the work has been done by my own hands. Okay, so own will be called the emphasizing adjectives. Let's quickly recap what we have discussed. We discussed about adjectives. They are the describing words. They describe a noun or pronoun and they add something to the meaning of a noun or pronoun. We also discussed about various kinds of adjectives like adjective of quality, adjective of quantity, adjective of number, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives, possessive adjectives, proper adjectives and the last emphasizing adjectives. Now, we will be dealing with another concept that is degrees of comparison of adjectives. If you remember, if we talk about the degrees of comparison, there are three degrees of comparison, positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. Positive degree means no comparison at all. Like if I say he is a tall boy. Now you can see that no comparison is there. Only I am talking about he. So tall will be a positive degree. Okay. Now comparative degree means comparison will be there between two things. If I say he is taller than Ram. Now I am doing the comparison between he and Ram. And I have used the word taller. So taller will be comparative degree. And last superlative degree. Superlative degree means comparison between more than two. Like if I say he is the tallest boy in the whole class. Now this time I am doing the comparison between more than two. So tallest will be superlative. So tall, taller and tallest. And you should know that how to form the comparative and superlative from the positive ones. Add ER to form comparative degree and add EST to form superlative degree. If you are unable to add ER or EST, we can add more or most also like beautiful, more beautiful and most beautiful. If any adjective is ending in Y like happy, so the three forms will be happy, happier and happiest. And sometimes we need to change the form as it is like good, better, best, bad, Worst, worst. Okay. Much, more, most. Little, less, least. So these are the various forms like positive degree, comparative degree and superlative degree. I hope so. You people must be clear. 
with each and everything whatever i taught you okay if any query you can ask me later on till that time please take care goodbye all of you and just take care of yourself and your family members okay goodbye take care god bless you all of you